so um, this is home. And I'd like to read um, an Amit Ray quote from uh, his book on Om to uh, introduce this. Om is not just a sound or vibration. It is not just a symbol. It is the entire cosmos, whatever we can see, touch, hear, and feel. Moreover, it is all that is within our perception, and it is all that is beyond our perception. It is the core of our very existence. If you think of Om only as a sound, a technique, or a symbol of the divine, you'll miss it altogether. You have to approach it with an attitude of surrender and reverence. Surrendering, merging, and dissolving into the ocean of bliss is the key to Om chanting and meditation. So, Om is also known as, as the creative sound that, that started the universe. So, from Indian tradition to biblical tradition, you know, in the, in the New Testament, it's in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and, and God was the Word. And so that's, you know, the sacred sound that we know the effects it has on our body. And if you think of that in a cosmic sense. So, like, the, the proportional distance uh, of the, the sun to the earth is actually the same proportion of the distance from electrons to the nucleus of the atom, okay, which is uh, approximately 22 million kilometers, 220 million kilometers, which uh, coincidentally is also the frequency of uh, 220 hertz, which is uh, the, the frequency of the so, Okay. <laughs> The proportional distance of the sun to the earth is 220 million kilometers, which is the same proportional distance of the electrons of an atom to the nucleus. So that, that 220 hertz is the frequency of, of the, it's, it's known as the frequency of the universe. There's all kinds of uh, telescopic microscopes that listen in on the sound of the Big Bang. And, uh, the sound has been proven to uh, increase like cell regeneration in plants and, and, and animals as well. So this symbol, um, it's pretty interesting because there's these like four or five different parts to it. And this lower curve is the ah, like uh, Jason talked about how it's ah, you know, the A-U-M. And the ah uh, part of it, this is your waking reality. This is uh, the male aspect, it's the color red, the springtime. Um, akara means form or shape. So this is like earth, the elements of earth, the trees, uh, your consciousness is your waking state. And then this is the, the you part of it. It's kind of like the, the trunk of an elephant. And it symbolizes everything that comes from home and everything returns to home. And so the U is Bukhara, which is formless or shapeless, like, like the water, air, fire. And this is like the preserver, Vishnu, Lakshmi. Um, then going up to the M, Makara. This is neither shape nor shapeless, so it's like the, the dark energy content of the universe that can't be measured, but it still exists and affects everything. This is, uh, you know, like winter liberation and destruction. Um, and then the Chandra Bindu, this is like a, a moon crescent. And so this is, this separates these states of consciousness from pure consciousness. This is duality. And then as you go up, this is also known as Maya or the illusion because really we are this pure soul consciousness or we're, we're kind of trapped in all these, these mental aspects. And then once you get past that duality and realize you know, the, the, the oneness of all of us with our spirit, with the universe, with each other, then you get to Korea, which is pure consciousness and bliss. So, but you don't have to even worry about any of that. This is the backstory because really, Om, you just you hear the vibration and you just feel it, and you just get in touch with the, that ocean of bliss. We're gonna harmonize together and just join our voices as one. So first of all, um, I would just invite everyone to just check in, check in with your, yourself. This is very important. Um, to 
be able to just tell, you know, how are you, how's your body feeling, how's your emotional body, your mental body, how you feel, your spirit. Take some deep breaths. And we're going to chant one single ohm together. So you can do it in the way that Jason mentioned. The, uh, Literally, you can heal every atom in your body. 